In the heart of the majestic Himalayas, where nature's grandeur meets human ambition, an astonishing engineering marvel is taking shape. China is embarking on a monumental journey constructing a $5 billion railway tunnel across the Himalayan range. In the vast expanse where China's Tibet meets the nations of Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, and neighboring countries, lies the grandeur of the world's highest mountain range, the Himalayas. With its majestic summits, undulating landscapes, and captivating glacier vistas, this region has become a coveted destination for countless adventurers and explorers. Yet amidst the mystique of these towering peaks, a remarkable infrastructure venture is currently unfolding. Origins of the Project Back on August 8, 2022, a notable event took place. The Nepalese foreign minister embarked on a visit to China. During the discussions between the two nations, Nepal expressed its aspiration to establish a comprehensive interconnected transport network with China that spans across the Himalayan landscape. This network takes the form of the ongoing China-Nepal Railway. However, it might surprise you to learn that this railway concept has roots dating back as far as four decades ago when China's Mao Zedong extended an infrastructure commitment to Nepal. Strangely enough, it wasn't until recent times that the notion of actualizing this railway took shape. This raises the question, what delayed China's implementation of this railway over the years? The answer lies in the historical backdrop. Both China and Nepal previously faced challenges in terms of technical and financial backing, making this immensely complex railway endeavor impossible. Nonetheless, with the evolution of China's infrastructure, capabilities, and technological prowess, the year 2022 witnessed a significant investment of around $4.3 billion by China to facilitate the construction of the China-Nepal Railway. Nepal's Transportation Problem Solved As a landlocked country, Nepal has long been impeded by transportation issues. The mountainous terrain hinders local travel, which, in turn, has restricted the nation's economic and trade development. The completion of the China-Nepal Railway will connect three major cities in Nepal, making commuting much easier. Never again will Nepalese citizens have to choose between just cars and planes when going abroad. The designated section of this mammoth project within China's borders meanders across the Tibet Autonomous Region. In the first half of 2022 alone, the region has received more than 17 million tourists. Assuming only one-tenth of these travelers visit Nepal by train via Tibet, Nepal's tourism industry will still enjoy an enormous boost. Railways will also reshape Nepal's dependence on India for maritime transport, thereby driving its foreign trade and socioeconomic growth. Laos, another landlocked nation, repivoted its market structure upon securing a major transportation channel through the China-Laos Railway Project. Likewise, the China-Nepal Railway will no doubt fuel Nepal's national development and allow more of its citizens to enjoy the benefits of its development. Most Challenging Construction Project The China-Nepal Railway is currently renowned as one of the most formidable railway projects globally. This endeavor unfolds within the Himalayan region, encompassing seismic zones and glaciers. Through the entire course of construction, unforeseen challenges are rife, including harsh weather conditions and the threat of mudslides. These variables significantly amplify the complexity of the project. Insights garnered from scientific expeditions have revealed a staggering statistic. Over a thousand mudslides have occurred along the railway route in recent years, with some areas experiencing a density as high as one mudslide per kilometer. Such occurrences markedly intensify the intricacy of building the China-Nepal Railway, necessitating the deployment of advanced technical methodologies and meticulously crafted design strategies to uphold the paramount aspects of construction quality and safety. The new railway extends to Qinghai Tibet Railway, a branch of China's Qinghai Tibet Railway line, into Nepal. According to the project plan, the China-Nepal Railway spans approximately 540 kilometers in total length, commencing in Tibet, China, and concluding in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. The anticipated construction period of this railway endeavor is a decade. One astonishing facet of this project is that out of 98 segments constituting the China-Nepal Railway, a staggering 540 kilometers consists of bridges and tunnels. Among these tunnels, 45 intricately traverse through the formidable Himalayas. A paramount challenge within this venture lies in the need for the railway to traverse the Mala of Mountains, an offshoot of the Himalayas. This undertaking involves the construction of a colossal tunnel through the Mala Mountain, aptly named the Himalayas Tunnel, a feat we shall delve into in depth. As widely recognized, the Himalayas stand as Earth's loftiest mountains, inhabited by only a few due to their formidable nature. Endeavoring to erect engineering marvels in this region presents an undoubtedly Herculean task. To ensure the seamless passage of the China-Nepal Railway amidst these towering peaks, China initiated the construction of the Himalayas Tunnel in February 2023. After five months of relentless efforts, the tunnel projects achieved an excavation progress of 1,680 meters. Notably, for nations such as the United States, Germany, and other developed counterparts, achieving such a milestone might entail over a year of work. Nevertheless, the Chinese construction team's progress represents merely a fraction of the entire tunnel project. 
According to the railway blueprint, the comprehensive length of the Himalayan tunnels spans approximately 30 kilometers. China's investment in this endeavor is anticipated to exceed 1.4 billion, averaging around 46 million per kilometer. Interestingly, when compared with the cost of the world's longest railway tunnel, the Gotthard Tunnel, which stood at about 198 million per kilometer, the efficiency and scale effect of China's infrastructure initiatives become apparent. While it's commonly asserted that China's infrastructure projects possess superior cost effectiveness and scale compared to those of other nations, the present construction speed estimation indicates that the Chinese construction team is poised to achieve a groundbreaking accomplishment with the Himalayan tunnels before 2024. Undoubtedly, the challenges entailed in constructing a super tunnel are beyond conception. Firstly, the tunnel is situated within a high altitude cold region, which introduces a significant obstacle to engineering operations. In this alpine expanse, the deficiency of oxygen emerges as a primary concern. Geographers' insights reveal that the oxygen concentration in the air at altitudes surpassing 4,800 meters above sea level is less than half of that observed in lower regions. Consequently, for the realization of the Himalayan tunnels, the construction team must sustain regular work routines while ensuring a continuous supply of oxygen through specialized generators. Meanwhile, in order to expedite the efficiency of the construction, China has deployed the General Shield Machine, a groundbreaking creation conceived and developed entirely within the country. This mammoth shield boasts a remarkable diameter of 16.7 meters and an impressive mass of 4,300 tons. Its capabilities are astonishing. It can excavate a tunnel segment equivalent in height to almost six stories in a single pass. This machinery has proven itself as a pivotal instrument in the undertaking of the Himalaya tunnels. Operating mechanisms within the General Shield Machine's core facilitate the propulsion of excavation processes, and it employs forward-cutting blades and cutting-edge technology to cleave through soil layers. Concurrently, it seamlessly disposes of the excavated earth, conveying it out of the tunnel and away from the site through a conveyor belt mechanism. As the shield machine progresses to a specific distance along its course, a reinforced support system comes into play. This involves the use of precast concrete lining, reinforced by the incorporation of steel sheet piles and robust steel arches. In addition, transport infrastructure and safety measurements are paramount, and the deployed equipment will actively participate in geological surveys and predictive analyses to maintain construction safety standards. Alongside these efforts, the transportation of construction materials and essential provisions for the workforce relies on road transport. However, within China's construction teams, the transportation of materials in high-altitude regions poses significant risks, exacerbated by the remote and desolate alpine mountain environment. Historical records reveal a tragic incident during the construction of the Qinghai Tibet Railway, which bears resemblance to the current endeavor. More than 100 lives were lost due to catastrophic tire blowout incidences during road transportation. The treacherous conditions prevailing at high altitudes exacerbate exacerbate the pressure differential between car tires interior and exterior, leading to frequent tire blowout. Given these circumstances, transportation complexities present a significant engineering challenge in this project. But why is China committing such substantial resources to construct the perilous China-Nepal railway? In truth, diplomatic ties between China and Nepal have maintained a strong rapport for four decades. Nevertheless, Nepal's progress has historically been tethered to India's influence. During a visit by a Nepalese delegation to China, Chairman Mao of China conveyed a promising message that once the road is restored, Nepal need not harbor undue concerns about India. With China now wielding considerable prowess in infrastructure and technology, the nation is resolute in honoring the commitment it made to Nepal over four decades ago. Do you grasp the strategic significance of this railway and embodies for China? Beyond aiding Nepal's enhanced development, this endeavor holds an additional pivotal motive. China harbors astute considerations for South Asia's political landscape. The imposing presence of the Himalayan barrier has long isolated China from the Indian subcontinent. However, with the imminent realization of the China-Nepal Railway, a groundbreaking shift is on the horizon. This railway not only fosters connectivity with the Indian subcontinent, but also establishes a direct link with the Indian Railway Network, effectively reaching the Bay of Bengal and thus facilitating a maritime route circumnavigating the bay. Looking forward, the China-Nepal Railway will even serve as the linchpin connecting the intricate tapestries of railwork networks across Southeast Asian nations. Moreover, China has been diligently orchestrating the Trans-Asian Railway Initiative, an ambitious endeavor aimed at establishing an interconnected railway framework spanning ASEAN nations and further linking with the expansive Eurasian Railway Network. Upon its fruition, this comprehensive blueprint will forge a secure and efficient overland corridor, enabling China to diminish its reliance on maritime transportation during critical circumstances. Concurrently, this concept holds the potential to foster improved geopolitical dynamics within South Asia. Yet even within the realm of geopolitical maneuvering, the China-Nepal Railway possesses the capacity to emancipate Nepal from India's dominion, assuming a pivotal role as a strategic linchpin. By doing so, it enables China to counterbalance India's escalating influence in the region. How do you perceive the Monumental Railway Initiative? Share your insights in the comments below, and thanks for watching the video, and see you soon with another interesting one.